feel so hot outside. I can cook eggs, fried eggs if I want it. When I open the window, I can feel the heat, extreme heat. So yeah, winter is over. Now it's summertime. So anyway guys, we're still here at Petro. Remember the vlog I did yesterday, so yeah, still here at Petro. I just got a load that's gonna go to Michigan uh, today. We pick it up. Uh, it is one hour away from here, so I'm gonna start driving now. I just did my pre-trip inspection, so it's a one hour drive from here. Uh, it picks up at uh, Aurora, Illinois. Then we're gonna take that to Michigan today, but our delivery is gonna be tomorrow at eight in the morning, so from the pickup to there it's about six hours drive so we're gonna have a late night driving tonight yeah I'm gonna start driving now so have you wonder where I got it from guys actually this is really nice shade I got it from Ross and it's only what $27 I just found it at my storage when I was in Chicago and I said you know what I'm gonna wear it right now because it's good on the summertime and when you wear them it's like it's got clear vision okay here's my coffee ready oops forgot something I need to drink cold water oh man I'm so thirsty Hydrated guys. Oh man. Our pickup time is actually at 2 p.m. It is now what? 1 no 12.45. Our ETA is 1.30, 1.25 to there. Oh, let's start rolling there. Slow down on 57. Okay. It's, how come my tra other truck tip is not charging at all? What's wrong with you? Hey, wake up. What's wrong with you? tonight I'm gonna park at please drive to highlight it flying J would have in Michigan guys so we're gonna have a late night driving hopefully <clears throat> hopefully the the loading at the pickup it's gonna be quick hopefully it's not gonna take a while so that we can get there early in Michigan. Take 57 north to 80 west. All right, I'm a little bit early to there, but it's okay. I'm one hour early. It's fine. Let's go. So when I am empty, I would start on fourth gear or third gear. Gear. See that? That's third. But since we are empty. We're gonna stop on Fort Gear. 
but when you are heavy like 40,000 pounds yeah you gotta start on the first gear to have more power and that's fifth gear I miss driving stick shift it's just fun driving it So I'm parked at Petro, right here on my right side there is a pilot, I took a shower this morning at pilot, although I'm parked here in the parking lot of uh, Petro truck stop across the street from here, because that spot, uh, if, you're guy, if you guys are here at, at Petro in Moni, most of their lot uh, parking spot are reserved parking, so you have to go across the street from there to here so you can find the regular spot to park your truck uh, see that there that's the parking for the petrol but all of the parking there are reserved not good Pilot here. Turn right at the traffic light. We're gonna take 57 North. I don't like this truck stop here, the pilot, because their parking here is very small. They only have three showers. I waited more than an hour just to get a shower. Sixth gear. Ninth gear. there guys kind of scary here because we are in the resident residential area and we are going through downtown 12.4 ahead damn why this truck is telling me to turn we're not gonna fit in the bridge right there yeah that is something you have to watch out for this freaking GPS is telling me to go there to get through there but there's a bridge 12.4 we're not gonna fit in man it made me scared I hate picking up, I hate going to a place where we are in the middle of the neighborhood because it's just too confusing. I don't know how we're gonna get there.
our pickup location guys is in the neighborhood area okay that's why I'm trying to I'm trying to look for a safer safer place to make a right turn because down there there's um there's a low bridge we are in the danger zone turn right and stop sign I'm freaking out right now right. for a main highway guys where we can turn right here upon it see on a, a highway that scared the shit out of me guys so this is something you have to watch out for when you are picking up a load in the area where it is there is a neighborhood there's a low bridges although your truck GPS is telling you to turn right here to turn left right here and then if you think like today I could have been I could have been gone through that bridge if I want to continue driving because that GPS is telling me to get through there but I just knew that the size of my trailer and a truck won't fit in so I didn't take a chance to go there so I had to find a way somewhere else to make you know like a wide turn so we're not gonna be stuck there damn that scared me <laughs> see this we are in the neighborhood right now our pickup location is somewhere up there at Pierre Street
So when you are in this situation guys, either you want to call 911 for help or you find a place like like a highway where you can get back to a normal road because you gotta look for a highway because if you're gonna keep taking the neighborhood you're gonna end up like stuck there you might end up for uh, at that neighborhood where trucks are not uh, permitted so what I look right away is the highway where I can you know make my turn see we are now in that bridge is 13.6 so we're gonna fit in. <sighs> you have to you have to know the size of your trailer. I thought that's 12.9. So yeah. See that? 13.9. We are in downtown. <sighs> oh, Jesus. Valley Forge. Damn, look at this. Look at this. It's freaking tight. I gotta use the space right here to the left and make my right turn here. Because it's really tight. Look at that. That's how you do it, guys. You don't want to hit the, the curb. So. Trucks. I'm sure not here. It's too tight. The next one. Okay. See, guys, how crazy it is here. It's freaking tight. We are in the neighborhood. Like, how in the world? Oh my gosh. That's the duck right there. How are you gonna make your... Oh my gosh! This chicken first. Oh my gosh. Probably gonna do a blind spot. We're gonna use the street to... This is insane. Okay guys, I'll be back with you guys.
going to be a heavy load guys 43,000 pounds we gotta scale it So when you go into a place like this guys when it's tight uh, you don't go in just yet until you check the place out because sometimes it may be like this uh, I had to park on the street yet I had to check if I'm in the right you know entrance because it might be just uh, it might be one way and now you're gonna be fucked up you know what I mean so this is the exit here see see that how tight it is guys back to this place again
I just want to wait until we are loaded here. That scared me big time guys. The place is really tight because I checked it before I come here. I already checked it that this is going to be tight. So what I did, I just put, I just park, I was just parked on the street, put my hazard on. I, um, I, this is in the neighborhood area, you know. So I just put my hazard on just to warn other, you know, vehicles that, you know, I'm trying to, I'm trying to find a place. <clears throat> That scared me big time because there's a low bridges. Uh, sometimes you don't follow. Of course, you have to follow your truck GPS going into uh, you know finding your pickup location. But sometimes you can't just follow all that getting into the location because that truck GPS is telling me to to go through to the to the like to the next street where there is a low bridge, which is 12.1. And I'm like, there's no way I'm gonna fit in there. I know the size of my trailer, the size of my truck, so therefore I'm not going in. So what I did is I make my uh, left turn there at that corner and find a way out to get back on the highway and so I can get here. The <laughs> trucking job is fun. It's, it's, it's the best career ever in the whole world, but it's also the craziest job. Oh, we're loaded now, guys. All in it? Ready? Okay, ready? Um, we have to sign somewhere here? Ah, uh, here. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. scale this load I hate heavy load <laughs> because we gotta scale it alright this is my dispatch we're loaded So where I came in, I'm gonna go back to the same right here <laughs> freaking tight
anyway guys I gotta scale this load I'm gonna stop at a truck stop and scale this load because it's heavy it's 44,000 pounds so we want to make sure that we are fully legal to run it to Michigan then tonight I'm gonna park a Flying J with Heaven Michigan because that's the only truck stop we can uh, surely find a spot but I gotta pay for the parking though well when you fuel 60 gallons 60, 75 gallons you'll get a uh, free parking and free shower so we're gonna do that later